is near it is near happy thursday to you guys thank you so much for joining me for this power hour uh please please hit the like button if you are here if you're watching from the bushes all of the above currently we have 120 people joining me thank you thank you thank you to each and every one of you uh let me say some quick hellos and then we're going to go ahead and get started. You guys know it is a tight hour. Uh, I may be back tonight. Something just dropped in my lap. If I don't come back tonight, it'll be a power hour-ish tomorrow-ish. Um, we can go over a little tomorrow. So let me say some hellos. First of all, shout out to the cutie crew in the building. I see you guys. Hey, sis, sis. That's my sis, sis, Pink Diva. I see my Aunt Debbie. Aunt Debbie, I'm so sorry I missed your live yesterday. I was in meetings all day at work. Um, so, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. But, again, shout out to the Cutie Crew. Shout out to the Cutie Mods. We got Linda Gamble. We got Pink Diva. We got Aunt Debbie. Uh, let's see, let's see. If you guys can send some prayers up for... Papa Tyra, um, he's doing okay. Nothing, you know, but just send some prayers. Shout out to Tyra. And I believe that's it for the cutie moms in the building. And let me scroll up real quickly, real quickly. And then we're going to get started. Hey, Z Frenchy. Hey, Son Sanji or Sonia. I think it's Sanji. I think, I think. Hey, Protect Black Women. I see you. Hey, Charlotte. Hello, Rashida. Shout out again to the Cutie Crew. We had an awesome, awesome members only live Tuesday night. Um, I think Tuesdays is a good day for us to settle on for our members only lives. Uh, I keep telling you guys, I'm going to try to incorporate a power hour for members only as well. But excellent live. Oh, my goodness. I enjoyed every bit of it. Pink Diva was on fire. Do you hear me? On fire. Uh, girl, if you don't go ahead on and get that channel going, we need that. We need that. Um, but, yes, thank you guys again. Hey, Crochet and Music. Let's see. You too cute is in the building. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jacqueline, hello. The lines that are being spread about Mel and her fans have to stop. Um, I caught wind of something day before yesterday, I think. But this is this is how it stops. If you don't pay it no mind, if you don't give it any uh, energy, then it's just going to stay right there where it is. But I understand exactly what you're saying, Jacqueline. As for me, as for me, uh, no energy. Okay. We know they lies. So, you know, why would I give it my energy? But understand the assignment. Understand what's going on. The season is gearing up to start. 
Um, and there will be a lot more that you guys will probably see going forward. But, you know, it is what it is. Don't know about you, but I'm a dance. Yes, Cassie. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Angela Richardson. I am. Thank you so much, sis. I hope you are as well. I just instantly smile when I see messages from or comments from Angela. Love me some. Angela, you hear me? Thank you, Angela. For those that don't know, Angela Richardson suffered from breast cancer and shared her story. And when I tell you way more than we've heard from Kimmy, uh, amazing, amazing. She went through everything, the good, the bad, everything. Uh, if you guys can, for me, I told you guys I had a niece that uh, was diagnosed and just keep her in your prayer. She's doing fine as well after her procedure. Um, but keep her in your prayers as well for me. I see the pastor. I see old pastor Braylon Lee. I see pastor Braylon Lee. Thank you, Braylon, for joining me. Hey, Bama girl. Uh, Star Child is in the building. Hey, Star Child. Hey, Creole girl. All right, let's see, let's see. I'm going to say hello to a couple more people. CDW, hello. Um, now, I didn't see. This is how I protect my energy. This is how I prevent myself from coming out here and acting a fool, okay? I don't watch much of the mess. I really, really don't. Um, but if it was horrible, I hate to hear that. Um, CDW put it was horrible horrible um and i what i saw was only pertaining to a video that was on my channel someone um tried to put it out here uh uh that chow it, it sounds crazy to even repeat it but figures of speech are a thing so if somebody say come in guns blazing i think you guys know what that means be ready not actually you know, pal pals, excuse me. So I, I caught wind of that, uh, went and edited videos because, you know, people moving real sneakily out here in these streets. Um, for the person that said it, though, she said, I don't know. I like chit chat. Uh, I don't know if she liked me and I have nothing against you. Nothing at all. But you know what was meant in that video. If you're watching. So that part I didn't appreciate, um, and I didn't even want to hassle. I didn't even want to hassle with it. Um, so I went and edited the video, and I won't even go into detail much more. But other than that, guys, I promise you, I have not watched any of the mess. Uh, somebody mentioned about a larger, larger, larger. So you guys will probably know. I'm not even going to mention the channel. Um, content creators seem to have flipped the script again uh and i didn't even go over and watch so we discussed a little bit of it in uh our cutie crew members only live that's where we discuss a little mess and we definitely let loose about mess uh at our let loose lounge but other than that child i ain't you know i ain't even paying it too much attention um game a recognize game. That's all I got to say. Game, recognize game. And that's what I think it is. I think folks want to go on here, get on in that algorithm, child. So the more people go and watch the horrible things, then the more, uh, you know, people will be in the algorithm. So that's just my advice. Don't watch it. Or if it was horrible for you, just go on here, unsubscribe. If you were subscribed to whomever shared the details or wherever you watched it and keep it moving click that um not interested button and they will not come back up on your timeline hey Cheryl Canada hey Brenda hey Reese's Pieces but guys we're gonna go ahead and get started I want to say again hey Purple Queen uh hey Mary see I start saying hi and I just want to keep saying it um but if you sent me a cash app a super sticker, a super chat, any acts of kindness 
Thank you guys so very much. Uh, I need to go back to how I used to do and put it on my community wall. But I just want to let you guys know that I appreciate that. I really, really do. Um, let's see. Before I get started, let me go ahead. Uh, if you guys did not see my post, make sure to follow me on my website. Follow me on my website. So it will be launching soon. I cannot wait. Uh, I got a lot that's coming over there. Uh, also ordered like a streaming cam uh, camera. So probably within the next month, once I get familiar with what to do and all of that, I will be live, 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 reaction videos and all that good stuff on the second channel. But if you did not um, see my post on the community wall, make sure to scroll back. Follow me on chitchatwithqt.com, dot com. Uh, what else? What else do I want to? I don't even know why this is right here. Touch on before we get started. Oh, I hate to even bring this up, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, let me take a swallow of this clear American strawberry water. Okay. Ooh, I needed that. But. I wanted to, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen this story, and I want to offer my prayers and condolences to the family of Lolita Hall. Uh, if you are not familiar with this story uh, out of Ohio, uh, I'll go ahead and read um, what happened. I am heartbroken. I'm disgusted. I'm mad. And uh, yeah, but let me go ahead and put this copyright disclaimer up real quickly um, because I am sharing material from Instagram. This is allowed under fair use. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act. And yes, I did a little researching and all that good stuff. But Miss Lolita Hall was an Uber driver and she went to go pick up a package from a home. Yes, Jess Angel. And I got my, my phone behind me, but I just looked so I can see. Um, went to go pick up a package at, at, uh, at a guy's house. And um, the guy who goes by the name of William Brock, 81-year-old man, came out with his pow pow allegedly he had been scammed and when he saw her he snatched her cell phone away i will never ever share the video heartbreaking heartbreaking but she was scared she was backing away from him she was saying sir i'm just here to pick up a package and he kept saying yeah i know why you are here so um, this is Essence, you guys, if you're not following Essence on Instagram, um, they went into exactly what I'm trying to relate to you guys. But he thought she was a scammer. Um, and they have here, Mr. Brock received some scam calls by a person purporting to be someone from our courts who informed him a family member was incarcerated and that he had a bond of a significant amount of money. The call turned from, I'm an officer in the court, to, we have this subject hostage. This is a ransom demand. So, um, somebody called him, scammed him, which was wrong. Let me just say that first of all. That was wrong. And I wonder how the scammers feel when it comes to Miss Lolita. Uh, when it comes to Mr. Brock, even if that was the case, thank you, Sanji. She was not a threat, period. She was not a threat. 
She did not have a pow pow in her hand. She was walking backwards, trying just to get in her car so she can leave. And that man unalived her. Unalived her right there in his driveway. Um, he was released. He was charged. Uh, he pled not guilty to unaliving and kidnapping charges, and he posted a $200,000 bond. If convicted, he faces 15 years to life in prison. Um, look, he's 81. 15 years is not enough. 15 years was not, it's still not enough. If he gets charged, you know, convicted of it. Go ahead and, okay, they did say 15 years to life, but still, he shouldn't even be out on bond. So, again, I just wanted to bring it to you guys. Cutie Crew, we will discuss more of this in our members only live. I did have this, <clears throat> I'm getting choked up. I did have this on the topic um, post for us to discuss the other night, but we didn't get a chance to. But very, very sad case, disgusting case. And yeah, he needs to go ahead and be locked up for the rest of his life. You know, it's funny to me that he even got a bond. That he even got a bond because he shouldn't have. So that's that on that. Uh, let's see what you guys are saying. It was horrible. And for her not to watch the show, she had, it was horrible. Oh, y'all on something else. Let me start at Corey. We'll get to that because I don't, I don't know. Uh, I'm glad I don't have a channel because I would have been acting a fool. Oh my gosh. Somebody get DM me and let me know what you guys are talking about. Please. Hey, Tawana. I'm nosy. I'm trying to figure it out. But, you know, like I said, I, I don't follow a lot. So I don't know a lot, you know, honestly. Um, but if it's who I kind of mention, just somebody DM me, please. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, wow. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, okay, Denise, I see your comments. Okay, so I'm going to check that out. I'm going to check it out. But for those of you that are subscribed to me, thank you, thank you again. We are, child, we tiptoeing through this month. Um, Miss Keita, I don't want it in the chat. I, we know. But as I mentioned, we are not shining light to anybody that's doing anything in my Martell Hope voice of that nature. But thank you, though. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of us know by now. Um, but I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Uh, thank you, April. I didn't even say it, though. <laughs> uh, it was the video. I don't even want to call it. It was the video with uh, Dawn Michelle. And it was a figure of speech that she used. That child, they tried to blow it all out of context. Do you hear me? Uh, all out of context. Thank you, Protect Black, uh, protect black Women. Uh, I love how you move. You're not giving energy to mess. If you give it energy, it dies. If you don't give it energy it dies facts facts and we touched on a little bit a little bit of even giving things or folks energy um because you know those videos gonna blow up in numbers because people gonna run over there they want to see what was said and this or that so sometimes you just gotta let it do what it do you know um but yes rest in peace again to miss lolita hall we are hoping and praying for justice, uh, conviction, and life. Go ahead and spend however many years you have right there in the clinker, period. Um, but let's see, where do I want to go next? Uh, and these are just a couple hot topics, guys, and then I'm going to go ahead and get to the Huntsville happenings. But... We know Diddy has been in the news for since when? I think that uh, Cassie, I think that happened like in November, December, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's still, he's still trending, still. 
And you guys know Shine, who was under a Bad Boys, and Shine spent years in jail, nine years in jail for a uh, shooting. And um, anyway, after everybody, I guess, got the courage to come on out and start talking about Diddy and everything else, um, the lady who was shot, Natanya Rubin, um, she came out a couple weeks ago and she said, look, I know who pal pal me. And it was not Shine. It was Diddy. It was Diddy. So shout out to the Neighborhood Talk. I want you guys just to hear what Shine had to say. And then I'll be back with my reaction. Let's take it off a of mute. The gentleman confessed to the shooting. And that is what stands out to me the most. Because, you know, I've done my best to put it behind me and to move forward. Uh, and so, um, but it certainly reopens the wounds that I've been saying this all along. Everyone knew all along that I was the fall guy. Everyone knew that I was a young kid that took the falls. Until I so you guys heard what he said. After spending nine years, Shine finally admitted that he was the fall guy. He was the fall guy. And I don't care, period about no, no snitching, no this, no, no that. I'm not spending no time for something that I did not do. Um, you know, Diddy is dirty. Diddy is dirty. Uh, right, Cassie. It's no way. Well, I don't know if his life is really ruined. Um, Shine does hold, if I'm not mistaken, a position over in Belize. So he did go back to his country. I do know that he is into politics. Let me see if they say anything about his position. They don't. But anyway, it says that Shine says as a young man, he chose not to snitch and doesn't need to snitch today because the victim is telling you exactly who pow powed her. He said that he maintained his innocence all along, um, but no. And I bet you Diddy didn't, you know, even if he did pay him, it's still wrong. But look, uh, Diddy is or was a billionaire. And you need to run shine a, a, a billion, if you ask me. Because he wouldn't have been able to attain his fortune had he went to uh, jail for nine years. So he dirty. Yes, Miss Keita. Nine years of his life. Hey, Justice. Um, nine years. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Lisa W. Um, she did, Jess Ain Angel. They crazy. I look, I don't care what nobody say. I I'm snitching. If it means I have to go to jail and spend some time and I know you did it, you out of here. That's just it. That's all. And I think that, you know, I just think that is terrible. He is. Girl, what's the tea? Yes, he is. Respected man. I'm glad that he's back in um, Belize and, you know, he's making a difference. But how sad. How sad. So, it, it, you know, I've been looking at Diddy with the side eye, but even more, even more, even though the rumors have been out here for quite some time that it was Diddy. But to hear Shine really come out and speak on it for the first time, um, you know. It was sad. Uh, let's see. One other hot topic, I believe. Yes, one other hot topic. And I'm sure you guys have heard, everybody has heard, and I am so excited for them. Ashanti and Nelly. Ashanti and Nelly. Ashanti finally came out. And confirmed that she is indeed pregnant. I love the way she revealed it. She got a bag um, for the way that she revealed it. And she also revealed that her and Nelly are also engaged. Also engaged. So I love that Nelly has not stopped smiling since he got back with 
Ashanti. Uh, Ashanti said, look, I cannot keep wearing these oversized jerseys. And she looks to be um, fairly far in her pregnancy. I would say at least six months, probably approaching seven. Let me see if I got that picture. Shoot. Uh, 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 uh. I did not send it to myself, but let's see. I'll find one real quickly. But congratulations to them. They had broken up. It had been, what, I believe 10 years. And they spent the block, spent the block. And, you know, they just make an awesome, awesome couple to me. So let me see if Essen has it on their page. So I won't have to go and look too far. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. They don't. Okay. Give me one second, guys. And then we're going to go ahead and get into this. Huntsville happenings, Huntsville happenings. I should have just went to her stories. Okay, here we go. Shout out to the shade room. Shout out to the shade room. Let me share it from the shade room. Um, but she did post a video in her stories today. And yes, Ashanti has to be at least six months, at least six months. But while that's loading, guys, thank you guys again. Please hit the like button. We have 708 people joining me. Uh, and we're going to get started on this Huntsville happenings. But take a look, guys, at Ashanti. She looks so beautiful, too. Uh-oh, I want to play the music. She out there. <laughs> so cute. So cute. Let me click like over here on the shade room while I'm here. But you guys put in the comments, let me know how far along you think Ashanti is. I'm saying six months. I'm saying six months. Let me know what you guys think as far as how far along. But congratulations again to Nelly and Ashanti. Uh, Nelly's kids are grown, grown. So, yeah, he's starting all over with this baby. Um, I think that's it. That's it. Yes. But as you guys know, on this thumbnail, I have Carlos crying, child. Crying. Do you hear me? I got old Martel looking puzzled. Um, we got Mel. We got Candace with her cry angle. We got a winter. And then Ashanti was up there. Yes, yeah, six, seven months. Okay, you guys. Oh, who is that said four to six? Miss Keita. April said five to six. She could be five-ish too, huh? Oh, Lori, you say seven and a half? Wow, Nicole saying eight months. She did a good job. Hey, Regina, she did a good job with, you know, operating on her own time and coming out and confirming it on her own time. But yeah, we, we kind of knew. But uh, let me go ahead and get into some Huntsville happenings real quickly. Mr. Marceau Child came on out yesterday at Scott Man. Now, uh, Marceau, you know, child, I'm trying to be so nice to folks, trying to be nice. Uh, okay, I'm just going to stop. I'm not going to go where I was going to go. But anyway, Marceau was at Scott Manor yesterday. Uh, he want to shut the rumors down, I guess, that... Uh, they are still in the process of building on those rocks, child, on the hill. They still, you know, still in the process of building. So, allegedly, I don't know how, how much it's going to take for them to build it, but shit, I would have just bought me a, a new home already on flat ground, on a mountain, uh, you know what I'm saying? And uh, that seems like a lot. It seems like it's going to cost a whole lot. But it's them, they business. Um, but allegedly, child, they talking about all these loans that they getting, allegedly, um, in order to stay afloat. I don't know. I don't care. Marceau also made sure to uh, make a video when it comes to black. When it comes to black, you guys know that it was going around that black was closed. Is black open? Is black closed? Um, I had two, two Cutie Crew members who are local, who actually drove past Black. 
uh, one drove past Black last Thursday. And at the time, she said that cars were in the parking lot. She said Marceau's white truck was backed up or pulled in or whatever the case may be. Black was open last Thursday. So I don't know. I don't care. But Mr. Man made sure to come on out and post a video in his Sunday's best child dressed. Okay. I know you guys don't want to hear it. Who is that? Uh, who, uh, Nana Nobody's Food said, I give up. I can't keep up with all the lies, child. The lies, the lies. Uh-uh, hold on. Sis said, let me go to the comment section. <laughs> Y'all clowning as always. Sis said, child, it's only been 10 years since we saw them out there digging up Scott Manor. Still, ain't no foundation poured. You know I love to say, still, sis, you know it. Girl, where the foundation at? That, well, they may have poured that for Wanda's cave. You know, they said they was going to have Wanda in the cave chat. Um, but yeah, I didn't see anything flattened out. Hey, D. Brown, I didn't see anything flattened out. Ooh, chosen by God. Say that don't even look like the same mountain. Mm -mm. Child, it's a lot of green behind them. Mm -mm. I'm going to have to go back and look at the video. Maybe we can do a cross comparison. Now, Tisha made a post. I don't know if it's in my, I don't know. No, it's not. But I'm going to read it, y'all. We're going to do a cross comparison. And Tisha, yes. Uh, look, I don't care about tea, but whatever tea is dropped, I'm going to talk about it, period. Okay. But Tisha made a post today in her story saying, y'all be thinking y'all got tea on folks whole time. They just grown doing what they want to do. And you messy, judgmental, and got no life. Girl, tea and gossip been out since the beginning of time. We can go all the way back to the National Enquirer, Star Magazine, and all of that. A welcome to the world, okay? It's going to stay around, uh, especially over here. We're going to talk about it. But anyway, Tisha just, you know, Tisha is Tisha-ing. And it is what it is. What else did I have? I'm just trying to give you guys the, the breakdown on these folks. But where is the picture I was looking for? Uh, well, Kimmy had her bowling for boobies. Kimmy had her bowling for boobies. This is the new couple uh, that's going to be on Love and Marriage Huntsville. They were there. We also had Chris and Nell Fletcher there. A lot of folks ain't feeling Nell Fletcher chat. Destiny was there. Uh, Jalen was there. Where's the picture of Destiny and Jalen? I don't know what these, um, and I'm not going to worry about it, but I had a whole lot more pictures than this. Um, but anyway, it, it looks like uh, it was a success. I'm not sure how Kimmy is going to move this season when it comes to Love and Mirror Tunsville as far as trying to tell us something other than her libido child. Hey, la sis. Oh, <laughs> that was a crack. In, that was a crack in my voice while I was trying to say hi to trending. And hey, simply beautiful. Let me see what simply saying, child. This my love and maritons feel historian. Hey, la sis. Oh, showing the love. Simply Beautiful says, so they took out those loans to build the manor, but how will they pay it back, I'm assuming? Allegedly, child, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not even going to act like I know, but allegedly, that's what the first loan from like a year ago, and if Tisha Marceau, anybody got some issues, y'all gone over to the Facebook groups because that's where I saw it. But I believe Tisha took out close to a million dollar loan at that time. Then allegedly in the Facebook groups, there has been another $800,000 or so loan. We don't know what's going on with the food truck. Trending at some point, girl, if you don't cut it off on, cut it out on Instagram. Now, I already been laughing at the lady that sing uh, Drake's song for days. I even went back today trending just to start my morning off. But that food truck post about Wanda trending, you're not right. 
you are not right. <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, that's that on that the bowling for boobies. Not sure if we will see that on um this coming season or hear more of Kimmy's journey. It would be nice. Uh Carlos, go ahead and get Angela Richardson and let her get on this show so she can inspire some folks when it comes to uh what you go through of uh, when you have breast cancer. She's a cutie crew member. Somebody get that message to Carlos. But I wanted to bring a couple posts from Mel. Mel Chow is out of uh, playing, as you guys can see. Not playing. She is field trip mom today. Field trip mom today. So she is out. They were at a water plant. Um, and she put... My question was, what's the pH y'all trying to accomplish? <laughs> funny, funny. Look, the Eminem kids wanted more of that spread that Mel laid out the other day. And baby, she had everything. Now, the video is on my phone. I'm looking at it, but they had burgers. They had steaks. It looked like a couple different type of steaks. All type of food and child them kids wanted more okay so she said that she told the children and let me look on my phone because uh obviously i need my glasses hold on guys let me bring this up on my phone but she put she said to them we're eating leftovers for dinner right boss baby said what are leftovers now that's hilarious uh child what are leftovers those kids are blessed do you hear me she put girl what's left from the barbecue yesterday then tank said well is it any steak left because it was good and then she put gets home checks pans and now here i am so they got most steaks uh more they had more steaks yesterday um and I'm going to get to this. Let me hurry up because I'm already, I got 20 minutes to, left to talk about what I want to talk about. But look, you guys know I've been saying selfish, selfish, me, 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 me. And this really, really resonated with me. Uh, this is a post that Mel had in her stories. You didn't become selfish. You became harder to manipulate. Don't confuse the two. But maybe that's how I need to start saying it. Harder to manipulate. But I'm selfish just when it comes to me. So I'm not selfish when it comes to others. Hey, Neva P. And then this is my cutie crew for me and family and friends. Uh, remember who stood by your side as you rebuilt yourself. Those are your people. And I told you guys, based off of our deep, deep discussions and members only, you guys made a decision that I had been sitting on for quite some time easier to make so um and i know mel feels the same about everybody that's been by her side her family her friends her mellow meters you really have to recognize that those are your people so i love both of those i was gonna put them on a community wall but i said let me go ahead and just drop them on in this chat but let's go ahead and get into the crying man the crying man uh, first, I want to say shout out to Melody Cherie updates on Instagram. Shout out to Mel um, Melody Cherie updates, also um, known as Money Making Mail fan page. And she sent me um, the description of the episode on, in a DM last night. And again, I was livid. Okay. I was livid. But. I'm sure a lot of you have seen it. If you have not, uh, I did post a video on my backup page, QT TV podcast, go to the community wall and you can definitely see a little bit of that. But let me go ahead and bring it up now. Number one, we all know that we had questions, child. We've been talking over the past couple months while they, while they were on break. Will Martel be back. A lot of people's like, ain't no way they're gonna let Martel back. He got arrested. Martel is back. Not only is he back, this first episode 
season eight, episode one, will be about Martel's arrest. So I'll read it. And it says, the fallout from Martel's arrest begins with Melody increasing security around her home after hearing the news. Why does she have to increase security? Why? Because it's not only at home, allegedly it's on set and, and things like that when she knows she's going to be around Martel as well. Everything else, uh, Tisha finds out Destiny was betrayed by someone in their inner circle. We already know that's Sunny. And then Melody events get crashed by unexpected guests. I have no clue what that event is um, at all. But <laughs> let me read what uh, Money Making Melody fan page uh, has here. Do you think it's unethical for On TV and Kingdom Rain to film Mel feeling unsafe around her ex-husband, whom she filed a DV charge for harassment on, but yet keep him on the show? Is this what a network who supposedly caters to Black women should promote? Absolutely not. And I went ahead and put in there, they don't give a damn about male safety. They would rather she quit the show than fire Martel Ho. Let me go and click my own comment, child. Um, they could care less. They could care less. But this is my question, you know, because we talk a lot about everything in our members only. But let's say you were working for a corporation, a business, whatever the case may be. And you've constantly experienced harassment, yelling, outbursts, uh, people got to restrain the person, lying, all that. Let's say this was happening on your job. Do you think they would not make a decision? To let the person go. Absolutely, Sanji. And I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. Sue. That's what would happen if they don't. That's what would happen if they don't. Go ahead and head down to the EEOC and, and whomever else that you need to go to. Because if they don't act, they are liable. They are liable and you know we've been watching for seven seasons coming up on eight and i have always said they have never reprimanded martel hope now carlos cried child cried over candace candace Real Housewives of Potomac, real tears, choked up, could barely talk, cried. And the only tears that I've seen Carlos shed when it comes to anybody on his cast was the tears that he shed to Martel Hope. Martel Hope. Now, look, do I think that Giselle and Robin are mean girls. Absolutely. But I also think that Candace is as well. Candace, um, and she's right. You know, anybody putting their hands on her, that should not be allowed, tolerated. We're talking about Martel and his outburst and everything else. So she's right when it comes to what happened with Monique. She was right when it comes to uh, the chick Deborah that started the big, a uh, fight or whatever, but Candace is reckless with her mouth. And I would have thought that she would have learned a lesson after Monique put them paws on her. Bravo had to warn Candace before they start taping the reunion 
to be careful of what you say. Now, I don't think that was them trying to silence her. I think that was them recognizing that her mouth is reckless. And I'm sorry, it may not be right. A lot of people going to react sometimes to some of the things that you said. But Mr. Carlos was so touched by that child, he started crying. <laughs> you guys see him on the screen. That's when he was wiping the tears. I'm confused. I'm confused. Wait a minute, what? Here it is. The person that, in my opinion, my opinion, revitalized Carlos's career. Is that the right word that I'm trying to use? Revitalized. Brought it back to life. Did CPR on that shit. With the, what's the thing, what are the things that you use for the heart? Male. Brought him back to life. Brought him back to life, child. And I ain't seen a tear. And I just think that is disgusting. And I think that I don't know what Carlos is waiting for. Uh, when it comes to winter, Carlos didn't even acknowledge. Dr. Heavenly tried to get him to say something. What about the defibrillator? Thank you so much. Yes, that's what she did to his career. Mel did to Carlos's career. But Dr. Heavenly tried to bust him out when it comes to winter coming out, talking about the treatment that she's experienced. Dr. Heavenly didn't mention that, but she mentioned that $2,500. Mr. Carlos got on up out of there. I, 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 we can't talk about that. I'm not, I'm not going to talk about that. What are you going to talk about when it concerns what's going on on your show? Anything? I, it's self-sabotage to me. And I know that Carlos is, yes, resuscitated. Yes. Thank you, Lady Lucy. All of the above, child. Revitalize wasn't right. Y'all let me know what my sis said. She's smart. <laughs> Um, let me know if that was right, child. But resuscitate, defibrillator, all brought back from the dead, in other words. But we'll just keep it clear. Brought it back from the dead. After Bravo let him go, allegedly, he said he left. No, sir. No way you left Bravo because if you, um, uh, uh, if you felt the need to leave Bravo, then you would feel the need to leave their shows alone and not talk about. Not talk about. They say, oh, Andy said there will be no more. Watch what happens live. Randy, Andy is the king of reality TV. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm so confused. And I don't feel that this is gonna end well for Carlos because. Contrary to any beliefs, Carlos can absolutely, absolutely say Martel is not coming back. We didn't see Destiny last season, did we? Wanda been gone for quite some time. Who made that decision? Because surely if Destiny wasn't good enough to return, Wanda couldn't return. I know damn well Martel's ass should have been gone. But yet, he's there. He's there. I'm sure you guys remember this. This was a blow up. This was a blow up. Look how Lewis looking at him in the background. Marceau had to pick him up, carry him away. He still got a job, though. He still got a job. So am I shocked? That the first episode will be centered around Martel Holt's arrest? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because when news broke that Martel was arrested, I came live. I, I think I was the first one, child. Shout out to the 33 plus 100 that was in that chat. Come on back, y'all. Um, but um, I said then. I thought that it was strange that the day that all of this happened with Martel was the day that them Love and Marriage Huntsville cameras was rolling. Same day. Same day. Sorry, guys. 
that's my new camera hold on same day um and yeah so i knew from that point on that it would be on the show that martell would be on the show but i just don't understand this guy i don't understand carlos you know yeah he's interviewing bambi and the love and uh hip-hop uh stars and uh, all these other shows and all of that but it's not respectable to me. I can't respect you if you don't address what's going on right there in your own home. Your home is Love and Marriage Huntsville. Your home is Love and Marriage DC. And Winner came out and spoke about the treatment that she received from who? Men. Quick and, and Jamie yelling at her. We saw it on the reunion. She talked about a couple more things that's going on when it comes to that show. And she talked about the pay. No word from Carlos. And, um, you know, I guess Carlos says, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because I think that all he's really caring about now at this point is himself and his YouTube channel and, and, and all of the above. And when it comes to mail, he never gave a damn, ever. Because had he, a whole lot that happened would not have happened. But I mentioned the corporate world or the workplace because if they don't act, then they are trying to force you to quit. That's what they're trying to do. So if I'm on my job, I didn't complain and all of that. And I look, I don't, I don't even know about suing. Let's just say I'm just dumb and crazy. I don't even know that I could sue them. And I got to just sit there and take this. Guess what they trying uh, uh, to make me do? Now, you could just go ahead and quit. We like him. We going to keep him. We heard what you said. But uh, no, we're not going to make that decision. So I'm not shocked at all. And like I said, um, we shall see it on the show, but it's disgusting. It really, really is. Episode one, arrested redevelopment. Redevelop. Who's redeveloped anything? Who? Did Martel do any redeveloping? Did he change himself? Did he change his ways? Absolutely not. But Carlos has allowed him to come on here and play in everybody's face. He said the nice guys finished last, child. The nice guys. The nice guys. And I had to go back and pull up that video because I wanted to hear what I heard when Mel came out after Carson Blow. And you could hear it in Mel's voice. She was emotional. She was talking about how could somebody do this after being married to them for 14 years and laid out everything. Guess who else saw that? Guess who saw Mel's video as well? Carlos. He saw it. And if he didn't see it, I asked you guys, somebody go ahead and share that with him. You know, um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Bravo made an executive decision to go ahead and fire Robin Dixon. Robin wasn't sharing her life and all of that. Carlos has not made any decision. It's all about mess. So he got the right name when it comes to his messy Monday show. That's what it's about. He don't care who is affected. That's what it's about. Mess. Mess sales. Tisha. Because that's what Tisha said as well. Mess sales. But when it comes to something like this, an arrest, an arrest, what are you doing? What are you doing? And Carlos, as well as myself, as well as you all know what led up to the arrest, what, what we've witnessed throughout the years. Thank you at the uh, uh, reinvented Lady Lucy. Yes, all of the above. But we know what led up to this arrest. It, it Look, it could have been more probably charges from other things. 
He just got a cool ass ex-wife that was trying to let him go ahead on about his business. And she wasn't trying to do that with him, you know, still showing him grace still. But, you know, it's my opinion. Martel could have been arrested for a lot more before this. But he still got a job, child. He still got a job. Look, I work from home. So, uh, but I didn't. I've been in the corporate world for years. Um, had the pleasure of working from home for 10 plus years now. Um, and this is not how it works. When people are employed by somebody, this is not how it works. You don't get rewarded. You don't get rewarded for bad behavior. You don't get rewarded for dangerous behavior. You damn sure do not get rewarded when you've been arrested for DV, third, harassing communication. Where they do that at? So if this is the type that, uh, and, and look, I promise you I wouldn't be on Martel if Martel had come out here and shown these same people that he's shown his reckless behavior the public, us, if he showed us through Love and Mirror Tunsville, he's in counseling, showed us that he really, really, not just saying it, want to co-parent with Mel. He really has his children's best interests at heart. If Martel would have done all of that, you know, he wouldn't, number one, uh, have this mug shot. But mug shots don't matter, child. Carlos going to let you stay employed. Um, trending said, I love that he chose reckless mouth. Elaine who is loyal to no one, but herself. She will assist in his downfall. And I can't wait. I think so too. I think so too, but trending also. And then I definitely got to go guys. Also, um, Dr. Heavenly does try to call him on his ish a lot of times, you know? So if I were her, I would demand no answer that. What's going on with the 2500? You sitting there talking about Mary to Medicine, what Quad did, what Sweetie did, what Mariah did, Toya, everybody. You could tell you everything about everybody, but don't you ask him nothing. Don't you ask him nothing. Period, Sanji. That's what's going to be on the next season of Love and Mary Tonsville. That lawsuit. So I don't get it. And, um, you know, the big wigs are not that busy, okay, when it comes to um, own, when it comes to uh, who else, Universal, I believe they're under, um, they're not that busy where they don't have a peep of what's going on. And baby, I promise you, I will be suffering from mental anguish and pain for the rest of my life. Matter of fact, I can no longer drive. Matter of fact, I, I get the shakes all day, every day. I will collect me some coins. I would. And no, Mel should not have to leave. For those that, you know, keep asking, well, why don't she just leave? She shouldn't have to. She shouldn't have to. Where they do that at? The person who's not harassing, the person who's not uh, sitting up here with a mugshot, they should leave? No. No. So, um, I'm not shocked. You guys already know we will be watching Love and Maritons Field on Patreon uh, for everybody. And after, and we'll have discussions during the um, commercials and all of that. But after we are done, uh, we go into the Let Loose Lounge starting May 4th. So, uh, you guys, if you aren't a Cutie Crew member already, make sure to join the Cutie Crew. Or if you don't want to be a part of the Cutie Crew membership, you can join the Patreon membership for the Let Loose Lounge. That's where it's going to go down. That's where it's going to go down. So, uh, but I love you guys. This is my power hour. We are at 59 minutes and 23, 24 seconds. Thank you guys so much to all of you that joined me. I think we got up to about 950. If you did not hit the like button, please go ahead and hit that like button on the way out. And if I can free up some time, 
a little later. Oh, trending. You're talking about Shirley Strawberry. Let me head over to trending. Uh, if uh, because I saw that she filed for divorce. Uh, we're gonna talk about that as well, too. Coming soon, backup channel. But if you are not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. YouTube is tripping. Make sure you're subscribed, guys. Hit the like button on your way out. Shout out to the replay gang. And I will chat with you guys soon. Bye. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat. Chit chat. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT.